hi everyone welcome back to my channel and today i will be making for you a mince curry with peas yes i've switched on my um you know my washing machine i had it off anyway i've switched on my um stove here on high you can feel the pot is getting like warm here and i've got my oil just gonna cover the base of my pot with the oil okay and here i've got some whole spices it's two sticks in the mint three cardamom pods two bay leaves and a few curry leaves if you don't have curry leaves it's fine you can leave that oh and look at that factoring away <laughs> And here I've got two onions that I've chopped up. Just take all of that out. Waste not. Okay. And now, we just give this a little quick. more here in the oil more it's just like a liquor fry okay can you guys see everything yes okay, okay. now here i've got two chilies a tablespoon of grated freshly grated ginger and garlic and i'm gonna put in here And I'm going to let that go for a minute or two and I'll be right back. Okay, this has gone for two minutes. And you have chopped up a whole tomato, one. And in that goes... Yum, yum, yum. That smell. <laughs> of the whole spices and the garlic and ginger and oh curry leaves it's nothing like it me a combination and the sound the sizzling sound so i'm gonna let that go for another two or three minutes and i'll be back okay that has been going now my onions and old spices garlic and ginger and tomato i like what it looks like now okay now i'm going to throw in my mince and i'm using 500 gram i took the minces too beef mince just getting it down like that now whose voice is that oh let me introduce you guys my son Amir he likes me to Show him. Just wash my hands. Mm. Wow, I'm super excited. How long is this gonna take, mommy? Oh my word, I'm here. Back into another 20, 25 minutes, depending on the potato. Right? Oh, okay. You want it spicy, I mean, or not spicy? So spicy, Canada. No, okay. But the camera can really like. Right. <laughs> okay, so my mince is going now. I'm gonna throw in some salt. Salt to taste me. 
I'll first add in a little now and taste later and see if it's according to my taste. I'm going to let the mince infuse with that now. It was in the pot and I'll let, I'll let it go so for a few minutes. So four to five minutes and I'll be right back. Okay, so my mince. The liquor smooch, you know, is okay. And now I'm going to throw in my spices. Mm -hmm. So, a teaspoon of turmeric and I'm keeping this for later. I'm going to show you something later when I'm almost done with the food. Another one of my tips. Here's some roasted masala. One, two, three. This is supposed to be four. I'm going to put one day. And here's some red leaf masala. One, two, three, four teaspoons. Put that extra picture in. <laughs> and yeah, I've got some um, jiran kochana. What is that again? Coriander and cumin, yes. <laughs> Sugar. <laughs> yes, I'm here. <laughs> and I'm going to throw a teaspoon in. And I can smell the different aromas mm. coming from the spot. I'm here, can I wait? You can't wait. Now I look at the color. Eh? Many times I look at the color and I will see if I'm happy. If I'm not happy with the color, I will add some more spices in. But first, the water, just a dash of water, like a quarter cup, just to loosen up the spices. Okay, so now I'm going to add, I think I'm going to add some more turmeric. Another half a teaspoon. And that's how you can play around with your food. With tick, it's a, it's a bit of a different story. Because that's like you must use an exact science. But with food, you can play around. Okay, I think I'm going to add a little bit more of this or that, you know, to my taste. Or to your individual taste. Okay. I'm going to let that spices infuse a bit for a minute or two and I'll be right back. Okay, so that has been cooking away liquor for a few minutes. Now, uh, before I do anything else, I'm going to take out my cardamom pods. Oh, yeah, no. Because the last thing you want is for anyone to bite on it. So I like to take it out at this stage. So here's the last one. Okay. I'm going to add some more water. Okay. I like where this is going. And now my potatoes. Now my family like the potatoes a little bit bigger. <laughs> and this was like four potatoes that I've cut up. Four to five. The cookie. Yeah. <laughs> okay. At this stage I'm gonna throw a teaspoon of butter in. And this just makes my gravy a little bit more richer. You don't need to throw it in, but that's my personal preference. And now I'm going to let this cook 
away nicely and get the potatoes nice and soft and just before it's done I'm gonna throw in my peas né? and I'll be right back I'm back and I just want to tell you that in between um, the cook here where you wait for your potatoes to be soft just check every time if it needs a little bit more water etc etc and give it a stir né? and then you I'm fine with this I'm gonna close it and let it go for another few minutes okay I'm gonna check now my potato it's soft if my knife goes through it liquor it's not totally soft but it's it, it has a give so here's my peas my fresh coriander nice batch look at that vibrant colors wow And then you give it a final five minutes or whichever way it's gonna go until everything is nice and soft but before i do that i'm first gonna give it a taste just get a clean spoon here and see if it needs anything else before we dish up <laughs> i'm just gonna take a little bit of that and taste it now Mm-hmm. That's enough for me. I don't need anything else. I'm gonna put on the lid. I shukrana me and let it go for a short while. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. My mince curry is done. I said I'm gonna show you something right at the end. So I like to have my potato very yellowy, so I'll take a like a tiny pinch of turmeric and just add it at right at the end just like that and then give it a stir and I'll just get that extra little bit of yellowness in there as you can see it's changing the color I don't know if you can see that okay so I didn't have time to make roti with this or any rice and I got myself this package here, the roti, homemade roti. It's named, um, how was it? What is this name? How was convenience foods? I mean, cut through here now, I can't see the name. <laughs> Just check there. There we go, there's the name. At the bottom knee, how was rutis? Ne? And this is homemade rutis that you put in the pan that they make. And I'm busy frying here. So if you don't have time to make your ruti, go out and go buy some of these homemade ones with made with butter, pure butter. And it's so delicious and so convenient. And we, in turn, support local businesses. Isn't that great? And here's another local business that I want to advertise. This is Kitchen Sam. And they are on Instagram and Facebook. And this is a green chili pickle that I'm going to dish up on the side of my plate. So this is the routine. Amir is just busy frying the other rutis for me in the background. <laughs> Look at that. Nice, eh? So I'll be dishing up here my roti. Look at that. Mm -hmm. some of this chili pickle 
it's green chili pickle very very nice as you can see it's almost up we just love it in this house and this will be the side condiment for my roti and i'll just put a little bit of a drizzle over here and just bring the plate over because my son amir loves his roti with this on and there we go Minced curry with peas. <laughs> Delicious. Amir, for your boat. Shukran. Yeah. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Okay, so Amir just told me that I forgot to switch on my kitchen light. <laughs> so I switched it on now. <laughs> there we go. Yum. And there's the roti lying away. Yum, yum, good. Amir, you can take your plate. Good night.